Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Duo. In this video, we're going to install a VPN server on our Synology NAS. There are three types of VPNs that are possible with the VPN service, but we're gonna focus on OpenVPN in this video. So let's get started. So I'm logged into my Synology NAS already. I'm going to click on Package Center. Let's type VPN at the top here, and you will see a VPN server listed right there. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. This should only take a few seconds here. And as you can see, it has a PPTP, OpenVPN, and L2TP, IPsec. So you can essentially use um, any of those options. But in this video, we're gonna focus on OpenVPN. As I like using OpenVPN, it seems it's a, it's a very good and robust VPN service. Now, okay, so now we can go ahead and click Open. And here we go. So we have our OpenVPN service open right here our application we can see there's an overview of it all being disabled the connection list will show us all the connections here we can disconnect them log entries and so on and so forth so what i'm going to do first is let's create a create an account this is going to be our vpn account we'll go to control panel user we're going to create and this one's just going to be called vpn you can name this whatever you want I'm going to put in a password here. Okay. And now I'm going to hit next. And as you can see here, we're going to leave it under the users for now. That's fine. And we're going to leave these all unchecked unless you need access to these. So if you need access to, let's say, the cloud folder, of course, give this user access to, to see this and access it over the VPN. But I'm gonna leave it as blank for now. And that's a limit, we're gonna click no on that. And then these are some of the applications. We don't need any of these applications, click next. We don't need any of that. And then click apply. So this user is now saving. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And what we can do is we can refresh this page here just by clicking back in here and we can see there's a VPN and this VPN user is allowed to use all of these uh, services here. So we're gonna click on open VPN on the bottom and then enable open VPN server. So as you can see here, the address is a 10801. Uh, that may be different from your subnet. This is just a subnet that the Synology creates for itself, it will be accessible to all your files and shares that you need and anything on the network. So it's just creating its own little subnet to kind of segregate it and give its own IP addresses. You can change any of the information here that you want. As you can see here, it's using port 1194 and UDP. It's using the encryption of AES-256. So all we need to do now is after this is enabled at the top, click apply. Give that a second. Now it says, please check out the port forwarding and firewall settings on your Synology NAS and router. Make sure 1194 is open. Click OK. And now one thing you notice is export configuration is now not grayed out anymore. We can click on that. It's going to start a download called OpenVPN. And this is your configuration now. So this is what you're going to want to put on your phone. But first, we have to make a couple changes. So. Let's head over to our router and head over to your port forwarding on there. So I'm in my port forwarding on my router here. I'm gonna click a custom service. This should be very similar to your router potentially, uh, unless you have an, a higher grade firewall or um, another type of router. This is essentially quite similar. You just wanna find your port forwarding and then add a rule like this in there. So the service name, I'm gonna make this OpenVPN. External port range is gonna be 1194, just like they told us. And the internal port range is gonna be 1194 as well. And I'm going to make it, uh, you gotta put in the LAN IP address of your Synology. I'm gonna click apply. And there we go. So now we have OpenVPN 1194, 1194 going to our Synology. All right, so now the last thing we need to do is open up our configuration. Let's unzip this file here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's unzip this here. Go 
bring this up here, open VPN. And here is the VPN config.ovpn. We're gonna right click on it, edit with notepad. And I can bring it up here. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. And as you can see, it says, uh, it gives you all the information here. This is the configuration for your OpenVPN server. The only thing we need to add in here is your server IP. So what you wanna put in here is your WAN IP. So go to whatismyipaddress.com and you can get your external WAN IP, uh, get the IPv4 version. You can throw it right in here. All you wanna do is replace this exactly, leave the space between 1194, so something like this. Just an example, space, and then the 1194. So this is going to essentially tell your configuration, tell your client to connect to this IP address in this port. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this adjustment and then we're gonna put it on our iPhone so that we can test it. So I added my WAN IP address to my VPN configuration. The next thing we wanna do is install the application on our phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my phone here, go to the App Store, and we're gonna download OpenVPN Connect. And I'm gonna hit that download button and it will download for me. So I'll give this a few seconds to download. Great. And then, I don't know why it says update, but let's give it a quick second here. There we go, now it's open. So we have the application now on our phone. Go ahead and open up iTunes, or if you have an Android, you can use an Android um, device as well and just transfer the file onto the phone itself through either the USB. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up iTunes here. And iTunes has the applications listed here. I can click on Open VPN. It's gonna to start to load, and now it wants us to add a file. So I can go to add file, go to my downloads, open VPN, and I can click directly on this file and click okay. And now that open VPN configuration is sitting right there, I can click done. Now, back on my phone, I'm gonna click open. You wanna go ahead and you don't have to do the notifications, don't allow, click agree. And now here's your VPN configuration. Click on add. I'm just gonna change the name here quickly. To home VPN. Type in the username of your, of your account on your Synology. You can click on save password if you want to, and then you can type the password in. and then you can click add at the top right. Now that our VPN is added, we can click on the connect button there, and now it's connected. So as you can see, it gives us duration, gives us our private IP address. From here, if you wanted to, you can go to files, and you can connect directly to your Synology. So I have my Synology listed under files here. Click on it, and I can browse everything that's on my Synology. That's it for today's video, guys. If you guys wanted to add OpenVPN to your computers, you can do so as well. There are clients for Mac and um, PC that you can do that. You take the same configuration file or a new configuration file, however you guys would like to set it up and design it, different user accounts and so on and so forth. But that's pretty much it. So if you guys liked the video, please uh, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you guys have a comment or any, or any questions, please leave them down below. Like and subscribe and enjoy your day.